Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for a fun little sit down video that is kind of like a cliche YouTube video concept that I have never done, which is sharing my product empties with you. I started kind of setting aside some of my product empties maybe about a month ago with the idea to do this video. So I have some skincare, body care, makeup, and hair care that are completely empty and I figured we could go through them and I could let you know my honest thoughts as to if I would rebuy them. Obviously, if I went through the whole bottle, I liked them, but some things I liked more than others. So without further ado, let's get into it. I actually have quite a few drunk elephant things in here. I will start with one and just try to sprinkle them throughout. This is filthy. Look at how gross this is. <laughs> this is the Drunk Elephant Face Cleanser, which is the Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I would clearly remove my eye makeup and then grab this. This is like beyond empty, and I definitely do want to rebuy this. I like just lightweight, gentle kind of jelly cleansers. I think that there's definitely cheaper alternatives, but this guy lasts me probably five months of using it morning and night. Did a good job of getting all the makeup off my skin and did not dry my skin out. So I think out of all of my Drunk Elephant products, this is probably one of my favorites, so I am planning on rebuying it. This is a newer find, and I clearly went through this really fast. This is the Necessaire Body Wash. Um, I got this in the scent Sandalwood. I bought this for a video where I tested the most sponsored products, and this was one of the brands I was most excited to try. I love this. It doesn't have like a very like fruity, clean, girly scent. It's definitely more like woodsy masculine, but I kind of like that. I did just rebuy this in eucalyptus, so a whole new scent. I'm excited to try that. So I have already rebought this, and I will say I have got even more of their products, and the things I use most frequently are the body wash, the body serum, and I just got the body oil, which I think is new. I love it so much. I think of that the regular body lotion and the hand cream, I don't use as frequently, and the exfoliant you only really use once a week anyways. So that's a little mini follow-up on all the necessary products. Let's do a makeup one. This I've been holding on to because I might be able to get one or two more pumps out of it. It's one of those where like I try four times before something comes out, but I went ahead and threw it in my empties. This is something that I have rebought. Oh goodness, 10 times. I've been using this mixed with a Glossier skin tint as my like everyday foundation for years. This is Born This Way by Too Faced. And I really like it. I will say my skin has gotten drier over the years and this was the perfect consistency when I had more oily skin. But now that my skin is more dry, it is a little dry, but I love the coverage. It's like a perfect medium coverage. It's not too, high coverage to where it doesn't look like your skin, but it's not too sheer to where it's like, what was the point of that? It's the perfect medium. So love this stuff. This, I have been trying to rebuy. I've been to Sephora twice since this ran out and I would really, really like to rebuy this. I'm sure I can find it online. This is the Inky List <laughs> Peptide Moisturizer. This, I think, is intended to be a dupe of the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Moisturizer, which I also went through one of those. That was gifted to me and I loved it, but it is very pricey. And this has a lot of the same ingredients and I think it's kind of hilarious that they even did the same like pump top bottle, which I had never seen until the Drunk Elephant Proteiny. And this is $14 at Sephora, whereas the Proteiny is, I think like in the $68 range. So quite a bit different, basically the same size. Love it so dang much. Trying to rebuy it. <laughs> Speaking of Drunk Elephant, let's do one more. This is a hair product. This I debated in live time with you in a vlog about if I should rebuy it or not. This is the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. I was like, I feel like there's another word in that. You separate your hair and you squeeze this along your root and you kind of massage it in and let it sit before your shower. And I think it does a really, really good job of really cleaning your scalp, really getting out all products 
and being able to go longer in between washes, which was the selling point for me. I was doing the math and I was like, okay, if I use this once a week and I can go an extra two day between washes, I'm technically saving on shampoo, conditioner, hair oil, styling things, blah, 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 blah. So though I'm spending more money to buy like a kind of expensive drunk elephant product, I'm actually saving a lot of money by not washing my hair as frequently. It's saving a lot of time as well. So that's why I rebought this. I have a full size one in my bathroom now. This was just my empty. Skincare. So this is kind of like my, I guess, medicated skincare that I use every single night. This is by Agency. A lot of people, whenever I was using Curology every single day, was like, do you actually use Curology? And I was like, yes, I've gone through so many bottles of this. And then I switched over to Agency, which is like their more anti-aging brand, but it's brought to you by the same creators of Curology. The only thing that I am a little bit bummed about is I miss Curology's cleanser and moisturizer. Agency doesn't have that yet, so I get just the formula, but I do love it, and I've been steadily increasing the strength through their website, so this is empty, and I have one ready to go that is slightly stronger than this one, and it's basically anti-aging, since acne is not as much of a concern for me as it once was, so that is empty as well. Okay, this is a Drunk Elephant one that I liked, but in hindsight, I probably won't rebuy. This is like beyond empty as well. Umbra Sheer Physical Defense, basically SPF 30, which isn't that high. I like it for a sunscreen. I think it wears really well under makeup. I almost said under ice cream. <laughs> for the price, I went ahead and switched back over to this Elta MD, which I actually think is a little bit cheaper. And it's SPF 46 as opposed to SPF 30 and I think that this has a bit smoother of a consistency than the Drunk Elephant one. The Drunk Elephant one almost has a little bit of like a slimy grittiness. It doesn't bother me at all, but this is just, I think, one step above. So that's where I am. I liked it, but I think I'm gonna stick to this for now. Next, I have just one from Target and it's the big boy. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing. I have been using this hairspray since high school. It's one of those things where you're like, I should experiment with other ones, but there's just a few things that you're like, I, I don't want to go through the effort of trying other brands. <laughs> so this is the Garnier Fructix Sleek and Shine Hairspray. I get the bonus size whenever they have it because you, you save per ounce or whatever, but it does a good job of, I think, holding in curls without looking crunchy I, overall. Just have always loved it. And it's at Target, so it's easy to find easy to get. I have three more makeup empties that I can't wait to show you, but before I go ahead and show you those, I want to say small little life update. You guys know how I have loved making flower arrangements. It was actually your comment. I was like, I would love to take a class for arranging flowers. And I swear five or six different people were like, why don't you see a Skillshare has a class? And I was like, oh my gosh, that is brilliant. <laughs> And lo and behold, they do. And so I wanna say a quick shout out and thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I've worked with Skillshare a million zillion times, but if you haven't heard me talk about them, they are an online learning community and they have thousands of classes from really fun things like flower arrangements to business things to honestly anything and everything you could ever think about. I'm, I pretty much assure you there's a similar Skillshare class. So this one that I found is a Skillshare original. I have it pulled up here. It's Modern Flowers Arranging a Stunning Centerpiece. And this is by Michael and Derek Putnam, which is the founders of Putnam Flowers. And it's like everything I strive to be, very organic and whimsical and just stunning. I've already watched the first couple modules. So Skillshare has classes that are broken into modules. It's great for learning. You can just watch five minutes or you can watch the whole thing. There's no ads. I love it. So if you're interested in trying it out, I actually do have a free trial. So for a limited time, the first thousand of my subscribers that click the link down below will get to try their premium for free. So I highly recommend checking that out. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I cannot wait to finish my flower class and hopefully in vlogs soon we could try to implement some of those techniques into the new flower arrangements. So that's my little life update. Thank you to Skillshare. Now let's get back to the three makeup items that I have left. If you saw my vlog with my sister, we went to Sephora and I did rebuy something also for probably the 10th, 12th 
maybe 15th time. And this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This has been my go-to mascara since probably high school as well. In my opinion, it's really good for lengthening, volumizing, and not clumping. I think a lot of like lengthening, volumizing mascaras can get really clumpy. That's not my vibe, so I go through these. I just love them. I, I love them. I will rebuy them over and over and over, so I actually have a new one. I can finally throw away this empty <laughs> and stick to my new one. This is actually a funny story. So this is an empty of this Smith's Rosebud Co lip gloss balm it's like a it's like a rosy vaseline lip gloss i have gone through so many of these little ones i also have the pot which is a little bit thicker but i was introduced to this right before i got married my friend kaylee spot this for me as like a look it says smith's that's about to be your new last name how cute and i was like how cute i hate wearing lip color and lip product i love wearing like vaseline type things so i tried it on and i was like this is awesome i'm actually gonna wear this the day of my wedding <laughs> we had professional like hair makeup people come in and i told them i was like i don't want any lip color i just want to wear this and they were like really and i was like mm -hmm. i do not want lip color on my wedding <laughs> so i wore this the day of my wedding and i have gone through so many of these to where i just i go through them so fast they're very lightweight they're very easy they're very clean love them and last but not least is a brow gel from anastasia beverly hills this thing is dry as a bone i really really use this up this is another thing that my best friend Kaylee told me to get and I mentioned this in my get ready with me video to where I have been splurging on this for a while. I was like, can it really be that much better than just like Elf's $4 brow gel? So I bought that from Target and it really is different. This does a really, really good job of just like holding your brows in place all day, but it doesn't look like you've hairsprayed your brows to your face. It looks natural, but they just don't move. It's a little bit pricey for me, so I always buy the little mini version. I should probably go ahead and just get the full size. <laughs> it seems like a lot for clear gel, so I just keep rebuying the mini one, and I tried to step away from it and go with something cheaper, but I do really see a difference, so it's on my list to go ahead and rebuy this one as well. So those are my product empties. I know that this is a video I put on my Instagram stories as a poll and I was like, do you want to get ready with me or do you want this video? And it was like 52 to 48. So I was basically like, okay, I'll do them both. So here we are. I really like doing the kind of retro YouTube concept videos. So if there's any other similar videos that you would like to see, comment them down below. I'd love to know. I just, it's just fun. I feel like I'm part of like a little, little group of friends. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out my link down below. I hope y'all have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?